I use CLI programs in my work all the time. They're really handy for getting bits of information, doing things, updating stuff on the server, or just doing repetitive tasks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Click with Python to create a couple of CLI applications like this one here on the screen. So what this one does is it basically takes in an ASIN and then goes out to Amazon, grabs the information and then prints it back out. I'm just printing the information, but you could of course do anything else that you like with it once you get it back. So when we run it, it looks like this. And we can see we get this information back here. Now this is just the information that I've decided to pick out. You could of course choose any other bits of information from that screen. So let's build a, another CLI tool. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab podcast information from the RSS feed. So this is going to allow us to, let's say, go out and find the latest podcast from whatever uh, URL that we give it. Now, generally speaking, podcasts RSS feeds have exactly the same information in them because it's required for them to be uploaded into the various podcast players that we use when we're out and about on our phones or whatever. So the, generally the information looks like this. So you can use the same passing and etc. to get the information that you from on from pretty much any podcast RSS feed there were some that I found that were slightly different but we're going to use this one as an example so I'm going to open up my podcast.py file and we're going to talk through the bits of information that I've got here already so I'm importing in click this is what's going to be using for the framework to give us access to these commands that we can then use from the terminal we're going to use requests to actually ask for that XML data. We're going to pass the XML with beautiful soup. Beautiful soup is really good for passing XML, works pretty well and quickly. And then we have a data class here in Python that we're going to use to store the podcast information. All this code will be on my GitHub and there'll be a link down below. I then created a few a shell of a few functions already. There's a get data one, a pass XML one. And here is where the actual magic happens, where we have our click command and we're taking in the feed URL and then we're going to do the scraping. And then this is so when we run this, it executes this function. We might change some of this as we go along, depending on how we feel, uh, but we'll see. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is actually get the data. So we need to understand what we're trying to achieve. So if we look at the XML again, let's uh, if I zoom in a little bit more, it might be a bit easier. We have this channel here and then we have the category, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have these items. These items represent an individual episode. So this is what we're gonna to want to get the information from. So let's say we're gonna have the, uh, what information do we put in? Title, link, description, and date. Okay, so there's title, link, the description here, and the date is the pub date here. So the latest episode is always the first item in the tree, in the XML tree. So we're going to basically just grab the index of item for the first one. We'll show you, I'll show you that as we go along. So let's get the information first. So the feed URL is this. I'm just going to copy this for now. So in our get data function, let's go ahead and change this to, uh, we want to have our response. It's going to be equal to our requests.get and we're going to be giving it a feed URL, which is going to be passed into this function. From here, what we want to do is we want to take that XML text and pass it into our beautiful soup so we can then look through the tree and get the information that we want. So I'm going to say our soup is going to be equal to and our beautiful soup and then we're going to pass in the text. So response dot text. This is going to be the XML that we were looking at on this page. Now we have this soup object here. Instead of passing the information in this function, I'm actually just going to return out that soup object so we can then uh, have it in a so we can then pass it in a different function. So let's just return our soup here. Now we want to take the soup into the pass XML, which is what we're gonna get. We're gonna be looking at this information inside our code. We want to grab the information that we want from it. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to say, well, let's have our uh, podcasts is going to be equal to and it's gonna be soup.find and this should get us the first option so we'll look down the tree and it will find the first one that matches this element so this is going to be the item element so we want to say item and then we want to look within that item so we can now say that our new podcast episode so let's call this episode it's going to be equal to and now we're going to ask for we're going to say look this is going to be a new uh, instance of our data class here so we have our podcast data class so we're going to say this episode is going to be a new one of these. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room and we'll say that this is now going to be equal to the title, you know, equal to our podcasts. I'm actually going to change this name 
I'm going to change this to podcast, and now we'll have. Uh, actually, no. Let's put um, item, and we'll in here we can now because then we just don't have too many things called podcast. We can say our title is equal to item dot find because we're looking within that item podcast that we've just found the initial one, and we want the title. So we want title dot text. So we want the text information from this. Now we want the link. Oh, need some proper indenting, please. Sort that out with black. So the link is equal to item.find. So where is the link here? Okay, enclosure URL. So we want enclosure URL. So we'll do enclosure. I'm not sure how this bit will work. We'll try this. If this doesn't work, we can then fix it again is actually ah so it's a so there is no text in this one so this is actually going to be the enclosure tag and then this is an attribute so we'll do it we need to do it like this so we need to say this is the tag enclosure and the attribute goes into the square bracket for url description this is going to be some text so item.find come back here and it is just called description description dot text and finally, the date, which I'm doing as uh, just as the, as a text field at the moment as well. Um, you can convert this. It's in a weird. It's in a slightly different format in the podcast, so you need to like you would need to convert it. But I'm just going to store it as a date for the moment. So pub date uh, dot text, and we can then change it afterwards if we needed to. So let's save this, and then from this past XML, we're going to return the episode, which is an instance of our. Uh, data class here or podcast. So what's going to happen now is we want to run this and we want to give it that feed URL, which is then going to go into this function, give us our soup, which goes into this one, which we can then pass out. So in our scrape function, let's move this to the middle of the screen. We want to take the feed URL and we'll say that our pod X, which is called this pod is going to be equal to our get. And what did I call this function? I can never remember. Get data. Great name get data and we're going to be giving it the feed url which is going to be coming from the argument that we pass in in our command line and then we can actually just pass this information so our episode is equal to pass the xml which is actually in this pod variable here and then we'll just print out the episode for now yep. there we go and save I'm just going to double check that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do from rich. We're going to import print. You absolutely don't have to do this stage. This is just so it looks a bit nicer in the terminal when we run it. There we go. So that should be fine. OK, so I'm going to close out of this now. Save and exit. Let's clear this screen. And let's go ahead and run our Python 3 podcasts. And do I have the URL, please? This one here. Let's paste you in and let's run okay so we've hit a couple of errors um we want to we looks like you're passing an, with a case so we can make those changes so let's go and run uh let's go back into our podcasts.py so in here we want to say i think it's features is equal to xml i think this is correct i also mentioned pub date but i don't think i did that wrong let's go back and run this again so we should get um so we want to run it with Python 3, podcast.py, give it our URL and run. Great. So there's the first podcast episode that we got, uh, K8, K8 versus serverless, and it's this one right here. So this is a good example of the start of a basic command line application using Python. I really do use these quite a lot, and I think it's a very good way to learn how to actually start manipulating data using the command line, using your terminal to work with things. And as, as you progress forward in your career, it's actually really useful to use. You will be building yourself a lot of command line application tools to do various things. So let's just open this up again. What I'd like you to do from here is to actually maybe take this code if you understand it well enough and go ahead and get all the episodes for the podcasts and then either print them out to the screen or if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, save them to a CSV file or save them to a database. If you wanna learn how to save to a database, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here where I show you just how to do that from web scraping.